my channel. It's Adela for you guys that don't know me. And if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification button. Today's video is all about natural hair. Y'all see I got mine down. Hey, look at that. Look at that growth, y'all. Right, let me go back. So I've been natural since freshman year. So that's like a good three years, I want to say. And my hair came a long way. Like, I've relaxed it. I dyed it. I cut it uneven. Like, it was all a mess when I was in elementary, middle school. Like, it was terrible. Because I learned a lot of being natural. So, let's get in the video. The first tip for length retention is to lay off the heat. It's common sense, I tell you, because heat burns your hair. It doesn't necessarily burn it, but you're literally putting heat to your hair it's like if you just put a lighter and like you know but having so much heat or too much heat in your hair could be very damaging it could cause split ends like scraggly ends like it'll burn your curls like i don't know how to explain it. like it'll make your curls less alive but it'll make them lifeless basically and you don't want that if you want to hold on your length like Mine's like right by my boob, maybe a little above it, but it's right there. And I used to have waist length here, and guess what I did? I used heat on it. Constantly. I straightened my hair every day. It broke off. Don't do it. At least if you're a heat addict, lay off on it. Like use it like once every two weeks, twice a month, maybe three times every other month something like that but lay off the heat if you want to be a healthy natural moisturize you have to you see this this i didn't wake up like this no if i show you the way i woke up this morning y'all would like unsubscribe because i looked hit this morning what i did i already have products in my hair but all i did was add more water and oil my favorite oil to use is olive oil. So moisturizing is important because if you have a plant and you don't know how to put water to it, it's going to die. So just think of it as a plant. If I don't moisturize, if I don't put conditioner, oil, the products that are necessary for your hair, if you don't put it in your hair, your hair is not going to grow. It's going to be the same length forever. So, moisturize that hair, girl. Moisturize it. Like, you want the bouncy curls. You want people to think you got short hair. But, you, well, you know, when you pull your hair down, you're going to be like, short wear. You know, like, if you don't wet your hair in the next three days, that's going to dry up and your hair is going to break off. And you're going to have split ends. So, no, we don't need that kind of negativity in our life. Like, stay hydrated, y'all. Look. Y'all gonna say, oh my god, because it's a McDonald's cup, but I have water in here, like, a medium cup. Starts from the inside out, like, eat right, drink right, exercise right, and you're, that'll be part of having your hair moisturized, because if you just sweat your hair, but you don't take care of your body, you're still stuck. So, go the full Third tip is protective styles meaning buns high poofs braid the fake braids wigs protect your hair but not too much because if you protect your hair too much you'll have lack of moisture it'll be brittle because you haven't put any oils or any products in here at least four days out of the week have your hair in a protective style basically like you don't need to wear your hair out all the time because if you wear your hair out all the time, like you see how I have a sweater and my hair is right here, like shoulder length, literally because of shrinkage. It's gonna, if I have my hair down all day, it'll, I don't, friction between my, my sweater and my hair and my split ends will just rub on it all day. So don't do that. Not all the time. I, my next tip will be to drink a lot of water like I said in tip three drink a lot of water like the more you drink the more you go and the more it'll clean your body like your skin will be glowing look at mine I don't have no makeup on y'all see like it looks like I have highlighter but it's just 
natural. Like my eyebrows need to be done, but that's okay. Drink water. It's good for your health. My last, last, last tip for length retention is patience. Be very patient. If you check your hair every week and expect it to grow, you're wrong. Check at least every two months, maybe three months, twice a year. Because the more you pay attention to your hair and the length, it'll look like it's not going nowhere. So just take care of your hair for as long as possible. And whenever you like, you feel like you grow some hair, check it out but don't check it all the time don't be like oh i checked it at 8 25 today i gotta check it at 8 27 tomorrow no give your hair some time so it can you know get used to all the products you're putting in the routine that you're putting it in and let it go with the flow let your hair breathe all right y'all this is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that post notification button so y'all can be noticed every time i post the video i'm gonna try to do vlogmas but we'll see how that goes we already got day one down and look at me <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you next time